We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died, civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka, 
Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47.
47. I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Honey, it's me. You called? Yes, I know they're coming for dinner. Hmm, a lawsuit between Janus and another resident. Might be a good place to start your investigation into Janus's life, 47. I suggest you look closer at this James Batty fellow. I have to finish my rounds first. I thought this was supposed to be a quiet Saturday, but there are just so many letters. I got a package for Batty as well. Did you know he was engaged in a lawsuit against Janus? That old Russian guy I talked about? No, there's only me here to cover it. I would love it if someone else could help. Even if it was only with that package to Batty. He talks and talks and I just don't have time for that today. All right, I'll call you when I'm over by the bus. Bye, honey. Do you need some help? You know what, friend? I could indeed use some help. It's very kind of you to ask. People in this neighborhood are just so friendly. That's what I really love about this place. No problem. What do you need? Well, I'm running awfully late today. Chatty people in this neighborhood, you know? Anyway, I've got this package for James Batty in number 432. Would you be able to deliver it to him? I wouldn't normally just hand over a package like that, but you look very trustworthy. I could do that. House number 432? Yes, big house at the bend in the road. It's undergoing fumigation at the moment, so you can't miss it. Just leave it in the mailbox and ring his doorbell, and he'll come get it. He lives in his shed in the backyard, so it might take a few moments for him to show up. Consider it done. Thank you again. This place is just amazing. Helen gives away muffins, and you're helping deliver packages. What a day! One of Janus's gardeners has decided to clear a series of mole tunnels using explosives. I applaud his enthusiasm, but sadly, local police have confiscated his equipment. If you were to find it, 47, it might be the perfect way to rid the world of Janus. We're gonna keep them safe in our trunk until you produce that license, okay? Oh, come on, man. It's standard procedure. You stuff the holes, and then you blow up the tunnel system so it collapses. Look it up on YouTube. Sir, if the American police force looked to YouTube as guiding principle for standard procedure, I'm pretty sure civilization would have collapsed a long time ago. God damn it. Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early, just to chat with the birds. 
spends more time with them than he does with Janus. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him and I... So Janus has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. He is down feeding the birds by the creek at the moment. Sounds like a good way inside Janus's house. I know, but this batty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. Always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit want between Janus and a local resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. Pick one. All right, Doc, sorry. I'm just stressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, all right? And I'll talk later. You know the exterminator guy who's working on Batty's house? Same guy who just did Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store... Apparently, there is a fumigator in town. He's working on a house belonging to a James Batty, and has previously been working on Cassidy's house. The fumigator has stored some of his chemicals, a strong sedative, in a container in a vacant lot near the creek. Sounds like this could be useful, 47. Chemicals? <laughs> I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Yes, yes. He told me that he doesn't kill the bug. He only sedates them, so that he can set them free later. Like he's a friend. He's an exterminator. Nolan Cassidy of Whittleton Creek. I want to speak to the man in charge. That you? No, Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. 
The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. substantial police presence in the town. Is that politician visiting, sir? Could be a problem. Damn it. I need to get into that basement somehow. Did you try calling the realtor? No answer, Mr. Cassidy. I'm sure he's here somewhere, though. Did you drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house? Cassidy was asking for them earlier. Yeah, added them to the pile. What a stupid system. Record the surveillance in the attic, bring the tapes over to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Wanna just keep them here? What? Risk the owners mm. of this house suddenly coming home? Cassidy is certainly keeping a close it's watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance yeah. tapes hold oh, interesting oh, information. Oh, It's about the chairman's seat. 
I understand Frederick was overlooked despite my recommendations. I would appreciate an explanation of the reasoning behind the decision. Well, it's a long and rather complicated discussion to undertake over the phone. Your request was put in front of the partners and considered, but in the end, it was decided to assign the role to the Washington Twins. The partners saw their ideas as a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. They are fortune seekers, robbers of the past, focusing on glory and wealth and outlandish futuristic dealings rather than conservation. They are not representative of what the society was built for. I understand your concern. Rest assured, I will be watching them closely very well. It seems we have a lot to discuss when we meet soon. Agreed. Until then. Excellent. This confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter, and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. Uh, got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Janus. Cold War spymaster and the first Providence constant. I wonder how much he... Excuse me, you're tra- Hey you, stop! I need you to follow me, are we clear?
Is that? It's not normal to throw stuff around. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the constant. We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society in November. It should be enough. The Ark Society annual gathering. 47, that's it. That has to be the event where Janus and the Constant are meeting. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the Constant. We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society in November. It should be enough. Oh. 
Oh, jeez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah, it's... The Wilsons are throwing a barbecue and everyone's invited. It sounds like Nolan Cassidy has some interest in the party as well, but for some reason, he's on range, all right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan. No, I don't trust a man who can't eat a rare steak. God. Are you okay? If you can hear me, make a sound.
Brian, it's no. Need a favor. Level three human on a guy called Jose Alvarez. Apparently works as a fumigation technician for a company here in Vermont, but I think there's more. Than Yes, it's important. Why else would I call you? I have a strong suspicion he's a security risk. To verify whether that is the case or not. Snooping around my house with some lame excuses. For all I know, it could be a hired killer. Thanks, Brian. Fence. He claimed he wanted to see if the Contact!
Blake has many important initiatives. Good work on the undercover agent, Spencer. They've managed to blend in very nicely. Thank you, sir. They've got entirely native. You'd be hard-pressed to distinguish them from the other residents or visiting workers. We'll use them to infiltrate some of the more suspect houses. Mr. the Wilsons. Remember that baddie fella who's engaged in the lawsuit against Genius. If we can get rid of the local plumber, we can put in a new guy and have him install cameras people's homes. I suppose so, Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> yeah? Cassidy looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms.
Nicely done, 47. This should keep things nice and quiet inside the house. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention.
the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden. I'm trying to stop. Uh, you know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well. By throwing his coffin nails over the fence? Seems pointless. There's no reason for him to kick the hat with his arms. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder... So close to the bucket. I think... The old man spoke. Have you seen that oxygen tank near his bedroom window? When you can't breathe with the help of your own lungs, it's probably not wise to also breathe with a cigarette. Letting him smoke is painful. Richard, you are such a fool! How could you forget the class? All you had to do was remember the dash, keep some purpose, and you should have to stop it. Mm -hmm. 